Shampoo! Nice to be back. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at this place where I filmed that one tiger stand shelter. And I was here around two months ago. And this place is just gorgeous, you can see from above. And the only problem is I'm in a bear country. And a few minutes ago I heard a shot somewhere from that point. But not worry too much, okay? I'm here with my dog. And uh, we're gonna make some tarp shelter today. I have a backpack from Savota, new one, which is just great. I'm gonna talk about it a bit later. And I have a few more things. Only thing that I have to care about are the bears. And I saw a few tracks on the trees. And uh, I have my ears and eyes wide open. Okay, let's clean this up and time to set the shelter. Well, Cairo have a new friend. Come here, come here. So hunting dog in a hunt. And uh, I have seen no car around here, so he's probably on a long way from home. And for all of you who asked how Cairo is dealing with other dogs, it is a male actually, and usually male on male, always a problem. You love little dogs, do you? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, move around. Okay, let me show you first what I have with me in this Savota Yakari M. But first thing first, you can see my clothes here and don't get fooled, it's zero degrees Celsius at the moment. I have a shirt over here and I have one layer inside there. Of course I have my GTX jacket for the night, but don't at all, let me show you what I have inside. So, here we have some food on the side here I have the Ravas Krama and this is topic that I'm gonna talk a lot in this vid and this tool is just amazing over here helicon tags gloves some water cup and inside here my jacket sleeping bag and sleeping mat and that's it and over here I have a big bed stove from the Savota and also the saw I'm gonna show you in a minute so yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, what I forgot, a new backpack. Inside, you saw it before. Okay, I have to take that tarp out. Time to set a shelter. And uh, for that, we're gonna need some 10 pegs. Hey, move away. And I'm gonna use that Terrace Crown to test it out. I used it three years ago, so I know it's pretty good. Really? Okay. You can see that he's aware all the time. And we had fox encounter here a few minutes ago. And uh, he chased it down the woods. So I have to trace him here. And I lost half an hour just on that, so... So this is how it should look like, a diamond shaped shelter. This end here I'm going to tie up for a tree and I'm going to peg all these edges here. The problem was that this tarp is not squared so I have to put this part inside here but luckily there's enough these straps on this aquacase tarp to make it possible so it should work.
So, the Rava Scrama. This tool I fell in love three years ago. And finally got one. The Varus Teleka store was generous enough to send me this and its younger brother, or we can call it the son, Yakari Puko. I'm not gonna talk much about it at the moment, but just a few basic things. This is really, really simple design, but it works so perfectly. The balance is just perfect. You can hold like this, like a knife. It's very, very lightweight, although it's a machete. And you can grab it here on this end to chop. The old guys who tried it out, they said that this is the best chopper they ever had. I also, after I bought this one, I ordered four of these for my friends. You're gonna see unboxing, that should be interesting. But yeah, carbon steel, just a great tool, simple. And as they described their Puko knife on their website or Steleka, no fancy bullshit. And that's true, okay? Simple design, doesn't look too fancy, but it's really, really reliable, really, really sharp. I can show you that in a minute, like this. And it works just perfectly. Let me show you this edge to focus. Yeah, pure perfection. Check this out. Amazing tool. Okay, let's see how it works. I'm gonna try to find my wanderer cap and my lovely wife plays in the washing machine with my other clothes. And now it's a bit smaller than the last time. Ooh. And this marine type hairstyle is definitely not something that you want to have in this cold weather. So this cap is just perfect. And now it's just too small. Yeah, I have to order another one. Do you have that kind of problems? Let me try to put it on you. Let me show you this. I try this bigger one. <laughs> How about that? No force at all. But that is amazing tool. And pretty fun to work with. Check this out. No force at all. <laughs> and this thing is crazy sharp. Crazy, crazy sharp. Let's try this bigger piece. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Let me show you how sharp this is. If I have any hairs left. Okay, focus. Let me focus. Okay. <laughs> pretty sick, isn't it? So as I said, I'm gonna make full review on it, but so far, yeah, pure poor, right? I have to do now, I have to make some tent. Really? Check this guy out. What you doing? Hey, what you doing? Crazy dog. I was saying, some tent pegs, let's pick that shelter up and snuggle inside and then we're gonna test that uh, stove that Sabota sent me. We're gonna have some meal, I want to do breakfast, 
but it's one o'clock, so we can forget on that one, don't you? You're really doing that? Hey, shut up, shut up. Really? That's my tent bag. No. Move. Move. Asshole. What I told you? Move. No. 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 Don't you do that. and solid ground and tonight I expect around minus 11 and they also said that uh, there's high possibility of snowing which I would like actually but uh, yeah no clouds so far especially the snowy ones This thing, it's so simple, but it's pretty pretty useful. No wet knees. Okay, shelter is up. I took this loop here and put it on a tree. I have a bit more space for my dog, for example, and for my gear here. For here, I'm gonna place that wood so and the summer where you're standing, I can light a fire for the night. So far, this is very good. You can see these gaps here. I'm gonna cover that with the moss. I'm even thinking to cover all the top with these uh, spruce needles, which would be pretty good insulation. Come here, come here. Let's see what Cairo thinks about it. You like this place? Do you like this place? Give that a kiss. Good boy. Okay, go there. Go there. You like that? Platz, platz. Good boy, platz, platz. No, he doesn't want platz, 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 platz. Plat. Good boy. Today I'm going to also try my new sleeping bag from a company called 
lithium, if I pronounce it good. I actually tried it out already, and uh, now it will probably be funny to you, but uh, every time I get a new sleeping bag, I sleep outside on the floor in my apartment, okay? <laughs> Where we take our clothes to dry. And it showed to be pretty good of 5 degrees Celsius. But uh, this is a goose down and it should be very, very warm for sub zero temperatures. Just very lightweight. I love that. I like the color safety orange. Bed is set, time to get the fire going. Let me try this. Ah, oh, that's a good feeling. Whew. One nice detail made in Finland. Big bed stove. It's called Big Bed Stove. It's angry. Looks pretty mad, doesn't it? Okay, what I need now are smaller twigs for that stove. I want to cook some outgoing breakfast, but uh, it's already two o'clock. A lot of you always say you eat so little. Actually, I do. When I come here and check this beauty, I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty. I just love this place, it's just amazing. Let me show you from above. We have some snowy clouds coming. I really hope this is gonna snow tonight. That's my wish. This is pretty, pretty wet. I didn't manage to find anything dry around here. But yeah, this is the only shot that we have. So good luck me. Good thing about this Yakari Puko. Check that sparks. Oh, that's amazing. A little bit of reality of bushcraft and survival. It's not easy every time to get a fire going. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is just too wet. And to have some soup. Okay. Well, that's a late breakfast. What is it saying? 200 millimeter. Okay.
Yeah, that should do the job. Old school, right? Let's test it out. Before I go, there's there's this out. If you're new guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And for all of you, my recent viewers, I started a Patreon. So if you want to help build this channel, go there, link in the description if you wanna donate. And that's simply it. If you wanna see me pissed by my dog, you go there, donate, and of course, subscribe if you're new. There'll be a lot more of that because he's pretty much a huge asshole. Where the hell is my dog? Well, not bad, although it takes a lot of energy. <laughs> they actually told that in their advertise for it. But yeah, for this compact size, I can find nothing better. And this is filled with resin, so this is what I expected. Okay. He heard some howling, as I did. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Good boy. Good boy. It's fine. We have a gun. It's just fine. Come here. Hey, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, that's done. Come over here. Oh, let's try this out a little bit. This is a mushroom soup. <coughs> oh, that's hot. <coughs> mm. This is my second meal today. What do you want? The first one I took when I stepped into the car. <sighs> okay, this has to cool down a little bit but yeah this sleeping bag is so warm it's very nice also if you're worried about this tarp getting burned that's not gonna happen this aquacrest heavy duty tarp is as it says really really heavy duty and I tested out already and no spark is gonna burn through so I highly recommend this one and it has a lot of these touches It's getting dark pretty quickly right now, so I'm gonna move my fire a bit far from my tarp, not to burn it. I'm gonna make a bigger fire, and then I'll see if I'm going to make that tortillas today or tomorrow, because uh, it's getting pretty dark. I don't like to eat at the night in my campsite. Also later on, I'm gonna put my food on a tree somewhere far away from here. So yeah, hopefully nothing's gonna come. You saw that hunting dog and for that reason I think they run all over this place and this is the huge area here. So I think no bears or no stuff should come in. Although we heard a few minutes ago a um, uh, few jackals around here. So yeah, let's get that fire going.
ね。Okay, it's pretty dark at the moment and I placed a few sausages on a fire and I'm gonna take some of these flames back inside this big bag stall and try to make some tortillas. Of course, good advice is never cook in a bear country where you sleep. At uh, this moment, that's a huge mistake, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen any tracks around here so I'm kind of comforting myself that uh, they'll be nice and calm night, okay? Because of my dog is here and that is also one of the uh, good things when you're having a campsite. Okay, let's prepare stuff for tortillas. I'm using my tortillas as a cutting board. But yeah, it's working out. And my biggest concern is that I don't have any oil with me. But yeah, I'm gonna first take this stuff and hopefully that's not gonna burn out. Okay, a little bit of this. Just enough. And now, huh. let's try Scrama. It's in a bit of overkill, but I can see that uh, it works. Wow, that's crazy sharp. I have in mind that I used it all day. Check this out. Nice. I simply just adore this tool. Yeah. Dodgy. Some shrooms. And Cairo is barking all the time all around so we probably have some guests but uh, I pretty much don't care after I eat then I can die but first the dinner
Let's cover it up. Nice. One more use of this pad. Very versatile tool. You can sit on it. You can actually <coughs> use your mouse and your PC with this. You can put it on your back. Ah, whatever you want. Awesome little thing. You wouldn't believe how much thing you can do with it. Okay, as you can see, I'm still in my shirt. It's very warm here near the fire, near this little big bed stove. But yeah, when you go somewhere around here to take firewood, that's pretty cold. And it was actually starting to snow just a little bit, but just stopped. Maybe through the night. Time to test out this tortilla. Okay. Mm, that's really hot. I'm gonna put here a few tomatoes. And I'm gonna. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh no, I'm gonna take this one, make it double. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm. I'm gonna take a piece like this. Mm -hmm. Considering that there is no spice at all inside, this is very, very tasteful. Mm. Oh God. That's a royal food. <laughs> That's a luxury. Okay, guys, the fire is falling down, so it's time to get inside the sleeping bag. And to taste it out for tonight. As I said, minus 11. That's what forecast said. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold, but it's still fine because there's no wind. So, the place where I live, we used to the high speed winds. So, when you have 2 degrees Celsius at my place, plus wind, which is sometimes gets more than 200 miles per hour, uh, that's, that's a deal. That's a cold one. But yeah. I have one more tortilla there. I'm gonna eat that. I don't wanna leave it inside here. And uh, see you a bit later. Okay, guys, time to go to sleep. Now, this sleeping bag is very, very warm. And I have my GTX jacket on. And my crazy dog is out there biting a stick. And almost one hour after midnight. Better get the Belgian mount on. Hopefully the night will be calm and I will have some sleep and out there it's really pretty really cold right now So hopefully this sleeping bag The tomb is gonna work so far very very warm You can't go wrong with the goose down. So I'll see you guys a bit later if something is wrong Or in the morning is everything is fine Good night guys
morning, guys. It's so damn cold out here. And you can see on my tarp and everywhere around, it's all frozen solid. Luckily enough, this sleeping bag did a great job. It's very, very warm. And uh, yeah, everything is frozen solid. I'm not gonna even try to get a fire going for a tea or something because uh, even my stove is actually stuck on the ground. And uh, it measures around minus seven right now. I expected some snow, but uh, nothing. During the night, I had some rain coming in, but uh, only cold rain. Okay. Let me get out of this sleeping bag. Try to get my shoes on, which are pretty fine. They were inside, so. Hey, where you been? Where you been? Cairo is patrolling. Uh, since about an hour ago, I'm barking all around, which is good. That means that no critters will be around here. But yeah, it's very quiet here, and uh, I like this cold weather. I really do. Check this out. Struggling a little bit with these cold hands, but yeah. That's nice packaging.
This was just a great adventure. If you like this vid, guys, make sure you go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you comment. Great place, isn't it? I don't have much to say, you saw everything in my vid, and uh, in future, it started to snow. In future, there'll be more vids from here. Just beautiful. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Actually, next week. Have a nice one.